Hello dreamers and welcome back to another Diamond Painting 101 tutorial. In today's episode, Natalia gives us so many amazing tips and tricks, games, fun things that you can do with your kids while you're diamond painting. We all know how amazing diamond painting can be for our health. Why not extend it to the rest of our family and spend some quality time together? Diamond painting does take a little bit more practice for the kids, but in the end, I'm sure that they'll enjoy it, especially with all these tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and jump right in, but before we do, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel and also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's go. Hello dreamers, welcome back to my video and tips tricks tutorial with Natalia. And today's topic of our video will be how to teach your kids diamond paint. Also tips for mom, how to do proper way, how to interact with kids and you know if you are a mom, you are a crafty mom, of course you want your kids to follow your footsteps and to be crafty same as you are. Some will follow, some will not. You know, some kids don't have a patience to sit long time at certain craft and do work with you. But you also can create some kind of like a games together. And I will show you some example what you can do. And just remember, if you have very, very little kids, uh, four years old, maybe smaller, lower than six, right? You really have to pay attention what they're doing because little kids uh, and you have to remember they see those beautiful dots those colors and they will try to put them into the mouth because they think it's food it's something yummy it looks like candy which is definitely candy for adults um, and today we're gonna kind of get the example finally i'm gonna start on my brand new canvas and that's forgotten memory by Anne Marie Bone and I don't afraid to say that this was probably the most popular canvas ever um, and you guys love it and finally <laughs> month and month later I will start on this canvas as well and this is going to be very very challenging because it has very lots of this confetti area that I will try to work even with the multi-trace and challenge myself um, so also we're gonna practice some game what you can do if you work on your canvases with your kids let's say your kids may be six or uh, eight years old that already understand what they are supposed to do and they're not supposed to eat those little tiny drills so make sure you always supervise your kids uh, so if you don't want them to ruin your good canvas if they don't know how to place diamonds yet uh, you can buy for them very as cheap as a dollar per little tiny canvas it's gonna be partial very bad condition <laughs> well maybe not as bad but for the kids to practice like you know five six years old that they don't have yet concentration on those little dots but I have to say if you watch some videos from our brand ambassador Anna her little boy oh my god he is professional he is doing good great job holding that uh, diamond painting stylist so i'm sure your older kids will do much better as well as little three years old i think he is he's doing great job uh he could be on our team you know so yes um i'm gonna say that we're gonna have some lots of fun today we're gonna do some games with kids how you can create uh diamond painting time with your kids and family and maybe a little tiny tips for kids what they can do uh, while they diamond paint and, and it will find some uh, interest to it also it will take time away from them not to play video games we know there's some of those games not as greatest at all and the longest we will keep our kids from those games and teach them something creative and beautiful well, we might gonna create some artists in the future, right? So let's go to the table and we will start our tutorials, games, trick, how to get our kids create together with us, diamond paint together. Okay guys, let's see what we can do with little kids and how can we introduce them to diamond painting and maybe make this interesting. 
to begin with you can try to get them involved to um, set up your diamond paint and kitten up uh, you know help them if they are very tiny uh, kids they can do at least like help you to open your ziplock bags cut out the numbers from the baggie and they could organize them by the color uh, or maybe by the um, if this is have like a numbers one two three and if they can count uh, they can put them in order so you can start fun as a little baby and not baby baby but you know what I mean a kid that can already handle some tools and they can help you to set up your diamond painting and organize your drills together I think that would be fun because also you can play by the colors for example you can show them colors if they uh, little kids that just like to um, uh, learn colors you can put couple of bags different color you know and just tell them uh, can I please have a green and they would try to figure out where is the green if kids just just you know learning their colors that would be fun also I think would be fun if uh, you can play some game but before playing game you of course if you are working on one of these beautiful diamond paintings by dreamer design uh, you you can uh, give it for your kids as I say very cheap one for a dollar or so um, diamond painting that has round beads that would be easier for them to kind of stab a bead on a tray and you can actually make this interesting a use this kind of like a painter's tray and I bought this at the dollar store and good about this particular one it's a flat bottom I have the one that has a round shape on a circle and those one bottom is round so it would be hard to make them flat but this one uh, flat and you can put a little tiny bit of each color in this tray and you can say you know okay let's place today in the canvas maybe color yellow and they would try to figure out which one is the color and also you can put a little bit of stickers on each of these corners for the symbols uh, so the kids would remember what kind of symbol that is and try to find later on the canvas now uh, to start your diamond painting with kids you need to make sure um, you know they have a, st a sturdy table so nothing rocky nothing can fall down on the floor and spill all those beads uh, sometimes you can even uh, get creative and on a, this side glue a little bit piece of velcro and a little bit piece to the table so the uh, your velcro would be stick to this plate and wouldn't be sliding off your table and this is actually good even for somebody of you guys to use this for diamond painting uh, if you want your kid to start and has a doesn't matter which uh, clear sheet or non see-through sheet you want to lift it up and maybe uh, your little one decided that he wants to drill like not on the beginning but a little bit further on the canvas so that would be good and handy to have uh, next to you of parchment paper so you could you know tell your kids place your hand on, par on parchment paper so they wouldn't stick because you know how kids uh, like to um, place even if it's this one side open but they want to place beads a little bit further in here so that way you just place a little bit on this side and they would reach in here so they don't stick because they like uh, most likely lay down kind of link to the canvas with their elbow so the parchment paper would do a favor uh, even for you or for your little ones how you can prepare yourself make sure you have all the tools you know to start with and so parchment paper you have to have it also a little bit of the static 
uh, remover it's a dryer sheet and if you want to teach your kids as well this little trick let them pet on those you know put some beads on the tray and let's just do you know say wow those beads are so jumpy what the magic let's do some magic together make them you know not jumpy let your kids play a little bit dub it and then show them that wow he did the magic the kid would be so happy i think okay <laughs> so this is something when you work with little tiny kids but make sure you always supervise if they are very little and of course our kids like to imitate us and they will be going after your tools they will see you work with your tweezers right but this tweezers is really really sharp so you don't want your kids to work with sharp tweezers and you need to find something that can be replaced and the other solution would be this kind of tweezers that i review one time this is the flat nose they are not very sharp still pokey but you know this one can go easily through your skin and this one more safe but it's not for the babies for the like you know uh, eight ten years old or older this tweezers would be um, more comfortable as a mother you know for kids to use and you would be feel safe with those for your little ones uh, so yes if um, or the one that has from like Aliexpress I'm sure you have those white cheap tweezers that uh, you receiving with each of your kit from Aliexpress and they are usually not sharp and easy to work like very um, light to squeeze and let the kids you know imitate and try let them you know as a game how long they can hold on to these beads by count like one two three you know and they are look at this I'm grabbing it uh, like this one is really interesting and they beads just stick to them kind of now it's not maybe it was a glue little bit on it okay so now the other game when I was thinking about and I'm just gonna put this beads aside okay let's just do it this way I have here little die so let's say you put on a table six colors because we have six numbers and a little die okay so we have uh, six numbers mark them as one two three four five six and let your kids spill like uh, throw your die and you know two where is number two so one two wow okay let's place this bits on a canvas first so you kind of choosing and helping what would you like to choose which color to work with kids and let them a little bit it's kind of like a fun game which one number bag to pick okay this time we're gonna do number four it's beautiful yellow color and they have to name the color uh, now the other thing and i think that would be fun if for older kids as well not mine just for little one little one is probably just gonna play like this and don't bother you while you diamond paint <laughs> um, now I have in here a little tiny sand clock and I got this when I took my kids to the dentist and this is I don't know if it's possible for you will be to see but the sand is falling on there very very tiny string of sand and this was uh, given by dentist to my kids till all the sand fall down that's how long they have to brush their teeth and I thought this would be a great idea to keep kids kind of like you know you flip this sandwich and then you say okay let's see how many beads we can place on a canvas before our time is run out and I think kids would be interested in something like this 
I'm not sure if you can buy something like this at a dollar store or not but it is says made in China maybe you can buy even in uh, Aliexpress something like this little tiny um, and this is not not long see it's already uh, we could count how long but I thought this would be fun if you drill and then you kind of you know time in yourself and kids and see who gonna put more beads and you start to place your beads on a canvas and this is kind of fun even you know to look on how the sand is going down and then for reward of course when you playing this game with little kid let them win uh, they would be are so happy well we're not gonna call this cheating okay <laughs> let them win and then give them a little bit of reward as kisses and hugs because he plays beads and doesn't matter if it's a straight or not straight uh, that's why I say to uh, learn them how to create diamond painting just purchase very cheap diamond painting and don't worry if they place uh, perfectly on a square or not also uh, if you guys uh, didn't read yet ebook from dreamers design there's a nice uh, beautiful some good um, example of uh, kind of it's kind of like a you know therapy at the same time and you can find lots of good things in that ebook uh, about uh, what diamond painting does uh, how this could relax you uh, keep away kids from those games because obviously uh, brainwash is going on right now with those kids they cannot think about anything else so this kind of craft as diamond painting should uh, you know get them interested um, to create something pretty and also spend time with mommy and if your kids are already older let's say like uh, my little girl she's 11 she don't need any precautions of you know being careful or not she was trying one time with the sharp scissors um, tweezers as well uh, to place one by one she even tried those tweezers on round beads and it work as well but also what you can do instead of uh, doing on the um, see and it's already empty um, so this is kind of like I would I thought would be a fun time to create something uh, what else make it interesting for kids when you let them to pick design by themselves let's say you shopping together on website and let kids to choose what diamond painting they would like to have uh, it doesn't have to be lots of colors but uh, maybe it's something very little some kind of animal maybe Disney character and all those beautiful sparkle gems uh, the best one for kids to pick of course would be uh, round drills not square because it's a little bit harder but also you can just uh, place um like a card stock put tack over and over glue on it let dry and that page will be very sticky and then you can place those diamonds on any page kid one you know what else would be a uh, fun to do with kids if you have a leftovers whole bunch of drills uh, you can just grab regular uh, cra ca um, card and here is the Christmas card that would be actually very good to start get ready a little bit. You can put glue on the berry, for example, in here. Give your child this beautiful red gems or drills and let them place on it. Um, and you can even pick some different, maybe sparkles um, gems and let their place on a card and then it's gonna be good nice beautiful card for somebody in the family from a little one that he created and it's he's gonna be like so proud uh, when those gems gonna sparkle or uh, maybe create some borders on a card with the green drills that would be fun too because this is something that will help your kid uh, to learn how to hold this pen properly uh, you know usually little one kids like to hold pen this way but 
uh, by try to teach them how to hold properly how to place exactly in the dots it will learn a coordination of the hands uh, it will be better um, coordination of the hand to place that gems also for the eyes uh, and little one have a nice sharp vision so they should do a uh, perfectly try to teach them go perfectly perfectly on a dot um, and this is helps them to relax it's kind of like a meditation thing um, and great time to spend them with your kids drilling together you enjoying they enjoying well maybe they will mess up a little bit with the drills but that's okay i'm sure you can clean up um, also uh, when you just start your diamond painting of course you have to teach your little ones what this is about and why is the numbers and pretty all those different symbols on the canvas right so uh, you can try to play game it's another game to find symbol in here well let's now find the symbol on the canvas well let's say for example this symbol Y in here in a bright green color and you know as much as maybe some symbols could be not as clear but you can definitely recognize this color because it's darker so it doesn't matter that they have a different green colors next to it this one kind of like stand out so the kid of course would go right to the white uh, symbol and find those colors where they are and try to help mommy have to drill so this is something another thing of how to teach kids how to drill how to find a symbol and then of course if your kids already maybe like 10 12 years old teach them how to place drills a uh, proper way on a square let's just say your kids already like 12 years old maybe and as I teach you guys you have to uh, let's just place okay what we have in here let's see 304 304 this bright red color let me zoom a little bit our canvas close up and we have in here let me just put few beads on a tray so we can let's pretend we have some kids in here and we're gonna open canvas I'm gonna open from my side there and since I open it's a whole field is open in here so that's where it's gonna be handy dandy our parchment paper to cover area that we don't need and then you teach your kid to pick up the bead straight on your stylist and go right into the corner to those lines and then better way if you teach them to do in a checkerboard that way it's more fun right not just a plain diamond painting but you kind of create design if you have a big area let's say let's say this green color say well make a shape of the flower you can create a little flower from those beads and then just fill them in later on so there's many ways or just go after certain color maybe after certain image like for example this beautiful iron um bench in here in the forest it's gorgeous uh, maybe they would like to create like straight lines in here to go after this image first so what i'm saying it's fun to drill with kids of course they don't have a patience to uh, drill for the long time but even a little bit even 10-15 minutes it will relax them this should be relaxing this shouldn't be hard and they will hopefully will like it and ask you more to drill together the image for kids should be easy let them pick image on a website something for you that uh, it's not very big and actually I think this image from dreamer design this lake beautiful blossom cherry um, twisted twisted blossom 
there's a swan up there and this one is 30 by 40 a little canvas so you can work on 40 by 50 let your little one work on size less and create together and I think the kids would love because it's so colorful it lots of beautiful colors or maybe you know it's confetti in here but it's more kind of even colors in here where is the sunset and this let them drill this little beautiful swan and have fun together with you so as you can see you can drill together with your kids and have fun and come up with some strategy that is good you think for you maybe it's at the dining table uh, and maybe your husband can get together and drill together with you maybe your little boy love colorful stuff so there's many way to invite them and maybe you want to create something as a gift for somebody and you need a helping hand to finish faster well invite your little one to help you as um, you know but you have to always supervise please if you're working with little tiny kids don't let them pick up those yummy candy and stick in their mouths because they think it's a uh, you know maybe berry maybe candy because they are beautiful so keep them uh, safe always watch over them um, okay I think um, if I forgot something I will cover up in my next video I hope you like uh, this video and please uh, give me comments if your kids like to work on diamond painting or not because as uh, my little girl is 11 years old she like to start and drill for a while then she get tired and she's kind of like put away and not touching diamond painting for quite a bit then she see me drill and then she come back and start again and uh, she like to do this by the window on a little folded table um, and she's having a fun and she like when she finish and she just go same as me by the color she go after every color like same color all over the diamond painting so <laughs> she find it easy for her as well okay guys I hope you have fun in today's video and I will see you next time Wow, Natalia has so many amazing ideas on how to get your kids involved. Please leave us a comment down below what you like to do with your children while you're diamond painting. Please give this video a thumbs up if you had any ideas or learned something new. Please also remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. We'll catch you in the next one. For now, paint with passion.